Welcome back, y'all. Um, I did my first farmer's market, and here we have a view of that wonderful, wonderful experience. And that is where I have been for the past few months. Every Saturday for the past few months, I have been at this farmer's market trying to get my name out there locally with my plants and my classes. And what this video is going to be about is doing stuff with the things that didn't sell at this market. Though I did sell quite a bit, there are still quite a few things that I had that just didn't sell because it's a farmer's market and you never know what's going to sell. So let's jump into this, y'all. Welcome back to my channel where chaos becomes beauty. I am a very chaotic person. There is no hiding that fact. I have an extreme amount of energy that is just all over the place. And on this channel, I funnel that energy into different projects. All of my projects tend to be around planting, growing, and using things from my garden, not only for food, but for medicine. And I can't get in too much of the med medicinal portions on YouTube because they don't tend to like that. However, we do get into some of that. In this video we are about to go through, I have done my first farmer's market of the season and then that is why I disappeared. <laughs> Not only for the farmer's market, but my mom had a hip replacement surgery and I had my own health issues. Um, just at work went crazy. So <laughs> another reason things are a little bit psychotic and the videos are way behind. So this is going to be the <laughs> beginning of spring as we are planting things in the ground. I did, however, this season learn a lot. So if you would like to learn a lot with me, then keep on watching and subscribe to be able to see all of the things that we have learned and grown with our knowledge because we can read all the books we want. Our plants, our animals, and our houses do not read the same books we do. I will see you at the end and hopefully <laughs> I've not broken any bones because I'm good at that too. All right. Hello and welcome. Something I am learning the hard way is that Mother Nature is modest. <laughs> so if you don't plant something in bare soil, oh, sorry, Froggy, <laughs> she will. So that's what we're gonna do today. I did my first farmer's market yesterday. Anything that didn't sell, I'm gonna plant or give away because I can't kill a plant. I, I just, I, I can't do it. So let's show you the hot mess I'm getting myself into. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. So this is uh, going to be all vining roses eventually. I'm gonna let all the roses vine. But I've come in and weed whacked down a whole bunch of stuff while getting scared by frogs who keep jumping out the way. But one thing, oh, there's some more. I've got to learn not to jump every time they jump. I'm trying to find it because somebody decided, oh, it is very wet, that uh, we need to squash back here. <laughs> I did not plant that. So anything that is an actual plant, I'm leaving. There's my little tiny rose. This is their first year in the ground. They were bare root roses. Ugh. So it's gonna take a while. That one, however, is uh, super duper happy and doing what she's supposed to be doing. Ugh. But I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna plant things around that's not gonna take up a whole lot of nutrients from the roses but i also want to give them a chance so they need to not be surrounded by weeds which means we're about to plant a whole bunch of stuff said stuff we got elderberries sage oregano more elderberries thyme chamomile and i have one um lemon balm just because i like the smell but from my research sage does really well with roses because it doesn't compete for the same things 
So I'm actually going to end up propagating some of the sage I have out back and transplanting it because it is taking over and killing off my echinacea. So I do need to do that and that will be in probably a different video because we I need a root compound which I can't find. I know I have it but I'm unable to find it right now so that will have to wait because I ordered some more and as soon as it gets here I'll find the one I already had. All right I'm gonna have to put the camera away because it's raining everywhere but there's also random squash out here and so the farmer might get a little mad because um, there's like five of these babies just scattered about everywhere. I know, what a hot mess, right? <laughs> we'll get there one day. I have made every frog in the universe mad. So let's see where we started. All right. Right here. On this edge, I wanted to plant taller plants. So we have two elderberries. And then we have marshmallow going around all the way through here. More marshmallow. More marshmallow. Oh, I love uh, That is Takawanda burdock root. It's going to get huge. Thought I missed one. More marshmallow. Marshmallow, and then three more elderberries right here. Yes, the gnats are attacking. So I had an I had a thought. My thought went away. Yeah, it's gone. All gone. What I am gonna do is I have some seeds here. So back behind me, this giant hot mess, we're just letting it deteriorate, go back into the soil. But there are bunnies that live in there, and they like to eat all my stuff in my garden. So, I'm going to be me, and I'm going to feed them. By building them their own little garden that they can just eat on whenever they want to. That's what these seeds are for. <laughs> but, let's go around to the other side to see what I was able to get done. The sun is not really coming out. But at least the rain has stopped for the moment. So we're at the front of the pond. Right there, that hot mess is going to get completely taken care of by the chickens. Because we're going to move them back since it's all grown in now. They will have a feast and be super happy. But right here, I put in some chamomile plants because they will readily reseed themselves. And I hope they do well there. Plus, I'm running out of space in the garden. Right here, we have lemon balm and then marshmallow right along this fence line along with St. John's wort because it will creep. We have the rose. We have oregano. Where is it? Right there. Right there. And kitchen sage next to another rose, which I've got to come in and trim these down. More kitchen sage. And then more kitchen sage here. Then I ran out of kitchen sage. So I put in oregano right here. This a bunny or a bird gave me. Or moved my stuff. I don't know what type of squash that is yet. I will find out eventually. And then um, this is creep. This is thyme. So it will creep along as well. I did one more thyme plant back here. So hopefully that will creep out and creep out some of these weeds. Right through there, I don't know what to do. I need to wait until the pond gets a little lower. Because all that's going to happen is I'm going to fall in the pond. And that would not be fun. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. We planted a lot of things. And a heads up, my rose wall totally failed. Side note, ponds like to grow weeds. And those weeds will get away from you. And those weeds will be five times taller than you. And there are things that you, you, you can't get rid of because it's a pond. And a pond will pond. Now, if anybody could put down in the comments what I could use to clean the ick out of the pond, that would be great. I go into detail later about why we don't have fish in the pond, which I know would be like the optimal way to clean the pond. 
However, if there is a drought, it will go dry and then everything dies. And I don't want to kill anything or put anything in there that will die. So if anybody has any ideas that will not hurt the animals, that will not hurt the wildlife, will not hurt the weeds or whatever I eventually get to grow because also my husband mowed down almost everything I planted. It's a running joke in our house. I plant something, he mows over it. This has been happening for five years. We actually just laugh about it now. So if you like these types of videos or you have found this helpful, please go ahead and subscribe, share, click the like button. My goal on this channel is to bring a smile to people's faces, pay good fortune forward, and let the universe universe while funneling all of my chaotic energy into projects that actually accomplish something and put something back into the universe and into the earth. Thank y'all. Have a blessed and magical week. Bye.